What's up, guys? It's a little back with another video. Now, today I'm gonna be showing you guys the best jump shots in NBA 2K24 for all heights, all builds, all positions. No matter what type of player you made, I will have a jump shot for you in this video. And not only that, but I'm gonna be going over the best tips. There are some crazy secrets that people are not aware of. There's some new settings that were not in NBA 2K23. And I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of tough to shoot, especially at the beginning of the year. I'm gonna be showing you guys the best ways to practice your jump shot and get open. I'm gonna be revealing all the secrets to shoot shooting in NBA 2K24. 92% of my viewers are not subscribed. So if you're one of those people, click the red subscribe button, sub up. We're about to hit 700K. Be an OG, be a sub before we hit 700K. A lot of people have been asking me for my drill move. So if this video reaches 10,000 likes in 24 hours, I would drop that. Without further ado, we got a quick word from today's sponsor and then we're jumping into the jump shot creator. The NFL is back this weekend, and I have never seen anything like this before in Underdog Fantasy. If you sign up right now using code SOLO, you will get this Saquon Barkley half a yard pick em for the Giants Dallas game this weekend. If you guys are into college football, there's also this Sanders pick em for Colorado. It's boosted, so you're going to get more money if you win. They just ran two Mahomes specials, as you guys can see right here. This one's secured, and then I have this one down here. If you guys sign up using code SOLO, your first deposit will be doubled, and also you're going to get a mystery pick em. So you're going to have this Saquon Barkley pick em, and you're going to have a mystery special pick em. So that's two. And also the Sanders one if you want to get in on this. Here's one of my pickups for this weekend. I'm going to make it a few more and I'm going to be tweeting them out. If you guys make any, tweet them at me. I'd love to see what you guys pick. And once again, make sure that you're using code SOLO when you sign up. There'll be a link in the description or you could just download Underdog Fantasy on the App Store. If you want to be the best shooter possible, then I'm telling you, listen to the entire video. I'm not going to put any BS in this video. I'm giving you straight up tips. And the first one is going to be going over to progression. And then you guys see the takeover tab. The first thing you guys see in the top left is the Mamba mentality. To unlock complete all three of the Brickley and Art of Shooting takeover challenges. And when this is activated, Mamba mentality will boost all categories. Also, by the way, it will replace your double takeover. Obviously, you have all your perks. So you're going to want to do the challenges for these. Accelerator is always the best perk. It helps you get takeover faster and you guys know takeover is op but the main reason that i wanted to talk about takeover you guys see all the takeovers in the bottom right hand corner this year you don't pick a takeover when you're creating your build which i'm sure you guys know by now but in game you pick a takeover now sharp take is op it's a shooting video obviously you guys know sharp take it's gonna help you shoot but if you're playing 3v3 or if you're playing 5v5 a lot and you're a point guard something you should consider or maybe tell your teammate about this play take which is the one that's right over the y button right there that is so op like if i have play take my teammates are not not missing like they gotta try really hard to miss off play take play take is op and then pretty much all shots drop when you have that on for your teammates obviously not for you so if you want to be selfish pick shooting take but if you want to help your whole team play making take your teammates are not gonna miss now i gotta tell you all about the best settings and there are some new ones so you guys need to hear about this because i was so confused on day one so go over to the option slash quit tab and then let's start off with the controller settings we will go to the regular settings but let's start with the controller settings first i have my vibration on but this doesn't really matter because they pretty much took this out for all shots because of zens basically people cheating shot timing i have this on shots only however when you get on the game it's going to be shots and layups your layups will drop more if you time them however i'm not used to that yet i'm sure eventually i'll be on shots and layups later on in the year but i'm someone that want to have an open layup i just like running in there holding the x button or the square button or whatever if you want to go up with a layup with a stick i like doing that i'm not used to timing yet you know it's the first day of the game being out so i'm only gonna have shot timing on for my shots now this is the big setting you guys do not want to skip this part of the video shot timing visual cue now if you're just scrolling through your controller settings you might be like oh that's just like some bs setting like it doesn't matter this matters a lot you guys can see on the bottom set your preferred animation cue to release the button during a jump shot this is basically the shot timing feature in the controller settings from last year but now there's a bunch of different names you guys see there's jump set point push and release let me break it down to you guys and make it very simple if you guys pick jump this is like putting it on very early from last year if you guys pick set point this is like putting it on early if you guys pick push this is like putting it on late from 2k23 and if you put release this is like putting it on very late think of it like this you put it on jump you want to release your jumper when your player is literally jumping like leaves the ground if you put it on set point i don't know i guess that's a little bit after your player jumps i don't really know exactly but i just know it's like the process of a jump shot basically is what you're picking here push is when your player is like going from his chest upwards with his hand motion when he's shooting it and then release you'd literally release the x button or the square button when your player is releasing the ball i hope that really simplifies it for you because i know my first few games like first 20 
20 games, I was so confused. I literally tried all four of the different shot timing visual cues. I couldn't figure it out. And if you have it on the wrong one, it's going to be so hard to time your jumper. So for me, I like putting it on set point, which is going to be the early shot timing visual cue. I tried all of them. I wasn't shooting the best with them until I put on set point. If you guys are not shooting good with set point. I recommend maybe trying push, but I wouldn't really recommend jump or release unless you really just cannot shoot and you just want to try everything. In NBA 2K24, you're the only person that can see your jump shot meter. So your teammates cannot see how you're timing your shots, whether it's good or bad, which you probably like that because if you mess up bad, you could just say it was a full bar or something and it just didn't go in. And they're going to have to believe you, I guess, unless you just start saying that every single play. But yeah, opponents and teammates cannot see your jump shot meter, but this is important. Turn your jump shot meter off. I've been saying it for years, but this year it got an even crazier boost. Mike Wang, the head gameplay developer for 2K, confirmed shot meter off increases your green window size by 20%. That's crazy. That is absurd. 20%. That's an insane advantage. You guys need to turn off your jump shot meter. Maybe first few games you could play with it on if you're really lost. If you're a new 2K player, maybe keep it on for a little bit. Turn it off. Just get the muscle memory down. I'll show you guys how to practice later if you guys are really struggling at the end of the video. I got some practice tips. Yeah, jump shot meter you need this off layup meter i have this offer now but again i think timing layups is gonna be pretty op so i'll probably turn that on eventually i'm just not too used to it yet i have my free throw meter on and now we have some interesting new things if you are going to use your meter there's some different settings for you input type if you want to just use the shot button or if you want to use the stick to shoot you could change that shot meter location you can have your jump shot meter to the side by the head below feet there's three different options. I'm not using my shot meter, so none of this really matters to me. Same with the size. You can make it smaller or bigger and the color as well. All of these don't really matter. It's just like sizing of like different bars and like meters and stuff. Pro stick function. Have this on default. Pro stick orientation. Make sure this is on absolute. And I don't think the rest of these really matter. I will scroll through them so that you guys can copy them down. Now we have our settings though. There are not going to be too many things to talk about in here, but the main one is make sure you have shot feedback on all shots. I think when you get on the game, this is going to be off. You want to put it on all shots so that you can see what you're shooting. If you're shooting an early or if you're shooting a late, it'll tell you in the bottom left hand corner when you're playing. It will also tell you the contest of your shot. So you can see if you're shooting open or not. It'll also tell you the distance this year. The next thing I want to tell you guys about is if you press start and go to the progression tab, you guys will see there is a get boost tab. And you guys can see right there, I have 52 games of jump shot boost. I will not be playing a game without jump shot boost. All of the best players in the game, the guys that run the stage, the guys that are the most competitive, that are in the 2K league, all that, they all use jump shot boost. It's been that way for years. You guys click on it you'll see the gatorade turbo boost which that helps a little bit these are kind of expensive though so i'm not going to really recommend them but if you go to the skill boost you guys can see for 10 jump shot boosts it's a 1500 vc if you're a new 2k player you might just be thinking oh 2k just scamming this is actually a really good purchase i'm going to buy some more while i'm in here right now i don't work for 2k i'm not trying to increase their sales i'm just giving you guys the tips also you guys see my weekly workout in the top right hand corner this is going to give me an additional turbo meter you guys see that is active i believe you need to get three stars or better on every single workout to get a perfect workout which will give you the additional turbo meter this will obviously give you more stamina in game and it's going to be easier to hit shots if you have more stamina so make sure to go to the gatorade facility and do all five of your workouts and get three stars or better if you're not getting three stars like if you mess it up just dashboard or close app i'm telling you should allow you to restart the workouts that's how it's always been although i didn't have to close app on any of my workouts i got three stars on all of them pretty easily now i gotta talk to y'all about the badges we got this pretty cool spider graph you guys see badge dna you'll see this in game whenever you're versing people which is very cool honestly you can not only see their badges but their best attributes as well. You guys see in the bottom right, highest attributes. That'll show up too when you're playing opponents, I believe. But if we go into our badges, like there's not really much I can tell y'all because there's not badge points this year. So it's not like I can tell you, make sure to put on this badge or make sure to have on this badge. But what I can tell you about are these badge perks. So as soon as you unlock badge perks, make sure that you're using them. You guys can see for my A tier badge for Scholar, I have on Green Machine. I also have open looks on for my B tier badge. You guys can see on the right, a badge with Scholar applied will receive a significant increase in badge level progression aggression in the city or whatever else game modes depends on your teammate grade as long as you're getting an a minus teammate grade you're going to be getting good badge progression on these badges so if you want certain shooting badges to be upgraded then go in here like claymore if you want claymore if you want comeback kid go ahead put that on into one of your badge perk slots and then floor setters this is the crazy one you guys will not have these unlocked if you know you just started playing but i think if you level up a lot in the season pass you will begin to unlock floor setters as you guys know your badges start off on bronze this year if you guys didn't know that now you do 
do when you make your build if you can get certain badges they'll all be bronze right when you get on the game and if you use them a lot in game you will slowly get them upgraded again they'll never drop below bronze but with these floor setters they'll never drop below either silver or gold so i have two badges right now that i could set their floor to gold handles for days or unpluckable if you have shooting badges in here again this is a jump shot video make sure to put some on like if you're losing a certain badge a lot put this like say you're losing agent three a lot set the floor right here to silver but it's permanent you guys can see right here if you want to pause the video it is permanent so that is why i have not applied mine yet because i don't want to completely mess up my build but i just figured y'all should know about this especially if you can't shoot if you keep losing your shooting badges you probably should consider putting some floor setters on for shooting badges it is now the part of the video that i'm sure a lot of you guys clicked on it for it's time to talk about the best jump shots for all builds so what you want to do is press start go to my player and then go to animations i can't show you my sigs yet you know what i'm saying if this video gets 10k likes i would drop the drill moves that a lot of people have been asking for we're going to be starting off with jump shots for six foot four builds and under as you guys know there are different height restrictions so if you're six foot five to six foot nine i got you in a second or if you're six foot ten plus i got you at the end i'm gonna be telling you guys a few different jump shots so if the first one doesn't work well for you then maybe the second one will you guys see bro the jump shot crater is looking crazy this year you have grades for release height defensive immunity release speed and timing stability release speed obviously matters because you want to get your jump shot off fast i'm definitely looking into that when i'm looking at the different grades when i'm picking out my jump shot timing stability is a huge one that was not in nba 2k24 you guys know how when a defender's close to you or when you're wide open you're gonna get a different jump shot timing if you're more of a casual player you probably didn't know that but you're not always gonna have the same jump shot timing which is low-key crazy but if you have a good timing stability like if that's an a you're gonna get a more consistent jump shot timing it's gonna be more of the same jump shot every time you go to shoot defensive immunity that also matters a lot that's gonna be kind of helping you when you know people are getting contested you get lesser of a contest on your jumper if that's closer to a so the jump shot that i've been going crazy with this is the one that's been working the best for me it's gonna be base fred van vliet upper release one is oscar robertson and upper release two is john stockton you guys see full release speed and we have 75 percent oscar 25 percent stockton you guys can see the grades in the bottom right hand corner release height is a c plus i don't care too much about release height release speed is a b minus i would like to get that a little higher but hey this jump shot's working good for me right now so immunity is an a and timing stability is a b you guys can see the requirements at the bottom right you got to be under six foot five and you need an 84 mid-range or three to get this jumper something else i'm going to point out if you lower the release speed watch what happens to the timing stability in the bottom right i'm going to go down on it the timing stability goes up so you're going to get more of a consistent jump shot if your jumper is slower but i want to get my jumper off fast so unfortunately the timing stability is gonna have to take a slight hit now this is the first jump shot that i was using you guys watched my first park games video which is still on my channel if you want to check it out i was going crazy i couldn't miss and it was with this jump shot we got base terrence man upper release one goran drogic upper release two steph curry full speed with 78 percent drogic 22 percent curry you guys see the grades in the bottom right hand corner we got a b minus release speed a defensive immunity a plus release speed is insane it's literally maxed out this is one of the fastest jumpers you can get in the game and a c timing stability this terrence man base has really good grades across the board you guys can see b plus b plus a plus and b minus and this was the first jumper that i ever put on and i was pretty cash with it until i changed to fred van vliet i also talked to fan one of the best guards in the world and this was the base that he was using so you know great minds think alike i guess we had the same jumper on if you guys were curious what the van vliet grades were that's the new jumper that i'm using it's b plus release height b minus defensive immunity a release speed and a minus timing stability it's really like you're just creating a recipe because when you look at the releases too they all have their own grades too so you got to kind of just mix and match and try to get the best grades possible curry has some great grades as expected a minus a plus b plus and a this is for his release i'm not too sure about these releases they have great grades but that does not always mean that it's going to be a great jump shot sometimes you need just a smooth release or a smooth base maybe take a hit on the release speed just to get that jumper a little more consistent a little bit more smooth a release that pretty much every 2k player loves when they use it is oscar robertson so if you want to throw this on instead of any releases i show you go ahead and try that like if you want to put this on instead of goran Dragic. but look now i need an 88 3 or midi to use this jumper so that's why i had on goran Dragic because i couldn't use oscar on this jumper one of the smoothest bases in the game was the best base for guards last year is going to be kevin porter jr you guys can see right here c plus release height a minus defense immunity c plus release speed and b timing stability you guys can do what i'm doing over here on the left side kpj oscar for their first release and steph curry or you could just go double oscar where is it ain't double oscar this is gonna be a very smooth jumper i might end up switching to this one too I, i'm still testing obviously the game's only been out for a day obviously i'd go 100 on the release speed and you have both oscar so the blending does not matter the last jumper that i'm gonna mention for small guards if you guys can get it is gonna be steph and curry i however i don't think meet the requirements so it is not appearing or maybe it's season locked but i think if you guys have a really high three point if you're like a pure sharp it might be here I believe that that is a very good 
jump shot. So go ahead, try that base. As I mentioned earlier, I have the best jump shots for every single build. So now I am on a six foot five build. The jump shot cutoff for this group of jump shots is six foot five to six foot nine, which is gonna be all your ISO builds, your lockdowns, shooting centers, all of those type of builds. The first base that I need to tell you all about for these taller builds is gonna be JT Thor. This is absolutely chicken. I'm hearing from a lot of the best centers and a lot of the best, you know, just six sixes that JT Thor is green for them. You guys can see the grades A minus release height, C defensive immunity, A minus release speed, and a D timing stability. A lot of these jumpers for these taller builds don't have a great release speed, but JT Thor, it has an A minus. As far as the releases go, I would try to get Oscar Robertson, Oscar Robertson, if you can do that. The only thing is that that's going to bring your requirement up to an 82 midi or an 82 three, and some of you guys might not have that. If you do lower the release speed, it will drop down to an 81, but I don't really recommend that. I'd probably just try to get a different release. If you guys put on Paul George, that will definitely lower the requirement to an 80, and then if you move it over, you can get to a 79 right here if you go 77% Paul George. If you guys go ahead and put on O'Shea Brissett, now you can get it with a 77 mid-range or three. So you could try O'Shea Brissett uh, release and you can also go 68 O'Shea. If you need a lower requirement, you can go even stronger O'Shea or at that point, honestly, just take off Oscar Robertson from the releases. Like if you guys switch it to Paul George, bang, now you can get it at a 76. So you just keep on testing things, try to get high grades. You guys can see the grades, A minus C, A and a D minus. Obviously that's not the best timing stability with a D minus gray right there, but from all the players that I heard that we're using this jump shot it's absolutely fire if you guys need a jump shot base that has an even lower requirement or maybe that base jt thor just wasn't working for you you could try o'shea Brissett. this one was fire in nba 2k23 i'm sure you guys heard of it if you played 2k23 a lot we still have on the same releases paul georgia Brissett, 67 percent but if you do have a higher three i recommend trying to go oscar robertson and oscar robertson for both releases because robertson just has such a smooth release however you guys do see it brings it up to an 80 requirement of mid-range and three-point shot if you do oscar oscar this jumper is just going to be absolutely fire i know the grades are not the best i mean you do have a pretty good defensive immunity there with an a minus c timing stability and a b minus release speed but this jumper is going to be really smooth now we're going to be talking about those very tall builds 610 to 73 a lot of these jumpers are locked for me because i did not upgrade you know a 610 build yet i know some of the best jump shots like o'shea Brissett. you could still get that on the bottom you guys can see it says height at least six foot five i didn't even know you could get o'shea Brissett for like seven foot three builds but you guys can use base o'shea O'Shea Brissett on these builds, and I really recommend that base. It's very smooth. As far as the releases go for these builds, of course, O'Shea Brissett's gonna have a solid release as well. Although he's mainly known for his base. You guys could throw the release on if you want. Other good releases are, of course, gonna be Kevin Durant. That's a great option. I'm surprised that you can get this on like seven foot three builds. I mean, I know KD is tall, but I just didn't kind of really expect that. He has great grades across the board B plus, A plus, D plus, and an A. And with a lot of these builds, you're not gonna get the craziest release speed. So I wouldn't really worry about release speed too much. Just kind of worry about the other ones. Obviously, if you could find one that has a b or you know an a then obviously take it but you're not going to really find those jabari smith has a fast release speed and some great grades across the board so i'd probably try that release out it looks like pretty good lethal shooter too he's in the game you guys see dr disrespect in the game but lethal shooter is as well he has some pretty solid release grades but honestly yo dr disrespect's grades are crazy like i'm not even trolling right now i would try this if i had a 610 to a 73 like, i recommend this look at this shit bro b a d and an a minus try this out okay so now that you guys have the best jump shots in the game i need to tell y'all how to practice this and get better with it obviously tip number one is going to be don't change your jump shot if you're absolutely terrible and you're like on like a 20 game losing streak then maybe change it but something that's always helped me is just sticking to the same jumper and if you're shooting earlies like i said turn on your shot feedback if you guys missed the settings go back to the settings at the beginning of the video make sure your shot feedback is on if you keep shooting earlies then just you know hold it a little longer shoot it a little more late get that timing down of course have your shot meter off for that boost and if you guys want to practice and you're running around the park look click right bumper or if you guys are on playstation i guess that would be like r2 i don't know one of the bumpers you guys can see it'll show you the nearest subway station it says right here two feet away one feet away you want to go in here and then go up here to the arena take this subway station right here and this will bring you to the gatorade training facility you guys can see if you press that middle settings button on your controller to open up the map the gatorade training facility is right here on the map so now all i need to do is go over here and this is where you can practice shooting i practice shooting when i was shooting very bad i had to stop playing i still had a pretty good record like i was like 15 and 2 but those two losses were bad and this is where i put on the fred van vliet jumper and i started practicing if you guys go to the back here you can reserve a private court and this is where you can practice again sub if you guys haven't be an og sub before we hit 700k drop a comment if you're an og sub let me know when you sub and if you enjoyed this video you'll probably enjoy this one even more click the video on your screen